Easy peeps and welcome back to another episode of Started From The Bottom, The Road To Glory. How we all doing? Hope everyone is okay. Right, little bit of business before we get into the video. Don't forget to drop a thumbs up on the video. That is of course verbatim. I understand we're heading into August. I understand FIFA 19 isn't the greatest game in the world. I understand nobody cares. But if you could still support the channel, that would be absolutely fantastic. And also, don't forget about the Discord. The link is in the description below. So, if you're not in a Discord, I'm going to give you a little bit of a tidbit. Of course, it's pretty obvious, but there are some random players as well. So, if you've obviously got 84s, 83s and 82s, a lot of them are going for some crazy money at the moment. Also, though, some completely and utterly random 81s and 80s are going for 7 or 8k. There's a few goalkeepers. Look at French. Look at Liga Nos. It's crazy, man. It is absolute crazy. And if there's any, you know, if there's ever a time, if you can be bothered to do the League SBC method, if you've got the starting players in your club, now's the time because literally nearly every pack you're going to get is going to be worth some coinage as stuff has completely exploded. Things that explode. Yesterday they announced that Zidane, as we all kind of gathered, would be the cover star of the Ultimate Edition for FIFA 20. So that means Zidane is in. FIFA 20. So I want your price predictions. Let's pretend they don't do a moment. No, they will do a moment. Yeah, let, let, let's say they do a prime moment. Are we talking 15 million coins again? That kind of region for Zidane. We, you know, we are, aren't we? You don't even have to answer. <laughs> we are. We're talking Ronaldo Hullet territory, aren't we? So FIFA in July is the best saying in the world, apparently, on social media. That is when we will be able to afford Zidane in FIFA 20, right? So we've got the objectives that we have completed. We will also be doing a TOTS upgrade, which is absolutely ridiculously expensive. And because we rinsed most of our club out for Pogba, we're struggling for players. But let's go and get these first. So weekly objectives completely done. Assist using a Premier League defender in six separate rivals matches to earn a Benjamin Mendy. Hey. These were a little bit easier this week. There's a lot of heroes out there. There's a few people that just don't care. And a lot of people are let, you know, letting people do the objectives and stuff, which is absolutely fantastic. We struggled a little bit with the Mendy one in terms of getting those people. So we had to actually do those legit. However, when we come to do the draft token one, that was done in one game, man. So respect to that person. But we have got the Benjamin Mendy for the sixth, sixth Premier League um, assists in rivals. And he looks really good, man. He does look really good. High medium, you know we prefer high highs. But we did use Mendy's gold card at the beginning of the game. And he was kind of in our squad as well for our squad battle squad for the first few months because he was rocking a French team. And he's pretty decent. Six foot one. Um, not too bad. 91 stamina is okay. I mean, he's got... Because of his, his 87 acceleration, he, this is probably screaming out for a shadow rather than an anchor card. So, is he better than Alonso on face value? Possibly not. Possibly not. Is he better than um, Robertson? Possibly not. Will he get in our team above Sandro? 100% not. But if we decide to rock some kind of hybrid squad builder before the end of FIFA, then we'll prob you know, we probably will give him a blast. Unfortunately, though, because there's no casual mo modes in FIFA, it's really hard to do squad builders this year, man. It's just not fun. Right, next one. Win four online single matches using 11 silver Eredivisie players to get a St. Just. I'd never heard of this kid. I've got to be honest. I'd never heard of him because I don't really follow the Eredivisie. But looking at his card... He looks pretty nuts, man. He does look pretty nuts. 95 acceleration, 94 sprint speed. He's got great agility, decent balance for a centre-back, 84 composure, um, fantastic defending stats, and 99 jumping. How tall is he? 6 foot 1, 99 jumping. This card looks absolutely nutty. And for only winning four games in online singles, I think that's a great card, man. So we'll send him to the club as well. He does look really, really good. Uh, next up, score and assist three rivals matches using flashback players to earn a future stars player. We used uh, Firmino for that. We did have uh, Villa and Ibrahimovic on the bench, but Firmino just did it all. So we'll open that at the end of the video. Um, and then we have Pato. Score and assist with Brazilian players in three separate squad battles matches on Pro to get a flashback Pato. So rip those people that did the actual SBC for Pato. 
Um, we had these loan cards, didn't really think too much of him. For me, this is just 88 like squad builders, fodder, so we'll take that. Squad builders, SBC fodder. Um, no completionist this week, but you do get a 50k pack for winning uh, 50, 15 games overall. So we'll open at that 50k pack at the end of the video as well. Um, and obviously the draft token I was talking about earlier, assist seven goals we're using future stars players in rivals to earn a draft token. We just had a couple of loans from when there was the voting or whatever it was. So we used those, managed to do it in one game because the kid wanted it as well. We went seven, seven, drew in rivals, happy days, another draft token. I wasn't actually gonna do that, but I was just playing another rivals game just to get the ranking up. So we do get a draft token pack as well. We are also going to do the ridiculous tot upgrade. If you're hoping to bank something out of this for what is, I think it's like a coverage of 120 players for an 86 rated squad. It's a total ripoff, man. It is a total ripoff. We're using literally the, the last end of our high end players just in case we get something good. And that's the thing. It's all about just in case, isn't it? So all of these didn't cost us anything apart from this um, this Sosa, which cost us 20,000 coins. Now we can sell him now for 30, but I'll take that. The rest were pat pulled. And of course we're getting rid of Red Kimmich and this Shane Long, which we had from ages ago. And then a pat pulled Verratti. Verratti is literally our highest rated gold card in the club at the moment. So I think we'll probably take untradeable rewards this week because we need to get some in in case a, a nutty SBC does come along. But we have still got 3 million coins, so we should be okay. So that's the upgrade for that. I wouldn't bank your hopes on doing like 10, 15 of these like the obviously the bigger YouTubers might do. Because I just literally don't think this is worth it. And of course, you say that, but if you pack Messi on your first one, it's worth it, isn't it? But don't forget, it's untradeable. Uh, we also have the tradables and the um, tradable team of the week upgrade. And then a team of the week untradeable upgrade. And it, it, this is the key here, right? It says open or now or save later. August the 14th is when they will start bringing team of the weeks back into packs. That's when footy finish. So then you'll get the new season for like Premier League and, and stuff will, will start. But the informs will carry on from where they are now in the game. So for instance, if somebody like, I, I'm just guessing, I can't, I don't know what they've got off the top of my head. Let's say uh rashford has got a 87 inform or something and he scores a hat trick on the opening day of the season then he'll end up getting an 88 inform aguero if he's got like a 90 inform he'll get a 91 inform obviously they won't hit the heights before the end of fifa 19 of what team of the season cards will and there's a lot of special cards for a lot of different players this year so they still could be unusable however it might be worth a shout of doing a few of these to open for when the new season comes about so we might do these in like next week there's still 15 days left on these so it's, these run till the end of the footies promo but we will be doing the tots upgrade which is which is out there for a week no it's not the wrong one what's this one actually team of the season oh that's untradeable which one did i just do then oh did i not do it oh well i just i literally thought i put a squad in with Verratti. Where, where what 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 have i just shown you Hello? Oh, I'm really confused. I swear I just showed you something that had Verratti in it. What was that? Um, am I going crazy? Uh, no. Okay. All right, forget it then. I, I swear I just showed you something the way I've just spoke about Verratti. And I can't remember what it's in. Have I just cleared it? <sighs> this will be interesting watching this back after I've recorded it because I haven't got a Scooby what's going on and I can't re-record the video because obviously I've just opened everything. Oh, forget it then. Forget it. I don't even understand what's going on. I'll have to watch that back and then we can talk about that in the comment section down below. That'll be interesting. Right then, to finish off the video, we do have a draft token pack, a 50k pack and obviously... Oh, did I do it? Oh, okay, I did it and it's repeatable. Sweet, my brain's dying. Right, okay then. Draft token pack. <laughs> That's a minute of the video we'll never get back, right? Let's just get that. Uh, sorry, boys, I'm very, 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 very tired. Right, we'll get that, right. What, What is happening to my brain? Right, 50k pack. Let's go. I literally couldn't remember that I did it. We get a walkout. Can it be a good one? 
it's going to be a European Man of the Europa League Man of the Match thingy. It's not a very good one, is it? 84 rated. I'll take an 84 from a 50k pack. At this stage, I will take an 84. <laughs> I can't believe I just did that. It's really funny. Um, right, 84. Two 84s. Beautiful. We'll take that. We've still got some space. It's untradeable. No worries. Is that untradeable? We'll take that swatch. We'll take that swatch. Take that swatch. I'm not too sure what swatch means. We'll take that. That, that meant to go, but we don't worry about it. Watch. Let's actually take those up. Put them up. There we go. That's that. Man, I need some sleep. Right. So we've got a top player pack and a future stars. Let's open the future stars first. Just a high rated one here I'll be happy with. Um, anything that's high rated. I can't even remember is in future stars. Is it going to be Sancho? It's not Sancho. It's going to be Calvert-Lewin. 86 rated. An 86 rated card, not the greatest, not the greatest. The only ones I had in my head there was like Vicinius Jr. and stuff like that. But we'll keep Calvert-Lewin, that'll do. And then to see after the episode, we're going to save obviously the 100k packs for batch 3. To see after the episode, this ridiculously expensive tots. Let's go. Can we get something good in this? Please just give us a usable one. That'd be absolutely fantastic. We end up getting Italian bag. That's not too bad, is it? That's not too bad. We'll take it. 96 rated Quagmire Quag himself. Everybody loves this card. I'll take it. We haven't used him this year. I've never packed him. That's fantastic. We are out of here, my friends. Don't forget Discord. Let me know if you've done any of these SBCs and if you've packed anything decent. We are out of here. Thanks for watching. Catch you in a bit.